All right, so what do we got? We got 6-13 rock, paper, scissors. Let's see what we got here. Create an application that lets the user play the game rock, paper, scissors, scissors against the computer. The program should work as follows. One, when the program begins, a random number in the range of one, two th through three is generated. If the number is one, then computer chose rock, so papers two and scissors is three. Don't display the, the computer's choice yet. The user clicks a button to select his choice of rock, paper, scissors, so that's a radio button. The computer's choice is displayed. The winner is selected according to the following rules. If one player chooses rock and the other player chooses scissors, then rock wins. If one player chooses scissors and the other player chooses paper, then scissors wins. And if one chooses paper and the other chooses rock, then paper wins. If both have the same choice, then let's play again to determine the winner. Okay. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors. Let's see what else he said on there. Hints. Hints rock, in paper, in scissors. Okay. Unknown. Update choices, procedure. You don't really need that, but we'll, we'll add one, one little function in there. So what do we got? Rock, paper, scissors. So this is what I did for rock, paper, scissors. Okay. So if you ever open up a program in Visual Basic and it doesn't just show the form in the, the center, just scroll down on this side in your project and just double click on it so that where it says form form one and that'll open your form up for you so anyway here's our rock paper scissors fun. on our form game is what i called it and that sounds... so we put a group box here so we got the group box where we put our radio buttons for our selection, the, the player selection, the user. So it's rock, paper, and scissors. We got an exit button and clears these radio buttons. So let's see what we did. Okay, so we got, these are our constants because we got rock, remember in rock, in paper, in scissors. Actually, we could just call this Oh, the scissors. Oh, no, no, that's all right. I, the way I did it before is just that's usually how I spell it anyway, so that's why I did that. Okay. So, in scissors and you could make these all capitalized if you want to, but you got to remember when you use them or call them, they have to be capitalized. So we got the first thing we need to do is randomize on the calculate button. So we create a random, randomize the variable. And then we got our, we only need one number. So we got these constants as one, two, and three. So we need to randomize those three numbers from randomize here. So num number c integer. And we got three. And we get the random number here. And that's for the computer to choose a random number. Then our radio button choices, if radio button rock is checked, and a random number equals one which is our rock number up there here 
then it's a draw. Else, if it's checked and it's paper, then computer wins because the computer had paper and you had rock. Or else, if rock is if you chose rock and scissors, then computer through scissors and you win. So then, if you select paper, you do the same thing here with paper. Paper selected and and the computer chose rock, then you win. Paper selected and computer chose paper, then it's a draw. And if the paper selected and the computer chose scissors, then the computer won because the scissors cuts paper. And if you select scissors, the computer chose rock, then the computer wins. Else, if you chose scissors and the computer chose paper, then you win. Else, if you chose scissors and the computer chose scissors, then it's a draw. So anyway, let's run that really quick. Oh, this is our one little function for random number. <laughs> Choose number. <laughs> he did one. I'm sorry. That's cool. That's for our random number right there. Anyway, so let's run it. Okay. <sighs> So that starts. So let's say, okay, we'll choose paper to start. You threw paper, a computer chose paper, You, it's a draw. Ooh, wow. So if you clear it, it sets the focus back to rock. So let's try a scissors. Computer threw, oh, I won. Look at that. And if I choose rock, paper, ooh, computer won that time. You know, you could put a little counter that kept track up here, but that's kind of stupid. I mean, you could, but like, I don't know. The, the, the game didn't call for it, the program. So anyway, that's rock, paper, scissors. And it has a little function in there, which I showed you, that chooses the random number for the computer's random number here, which is down here. That's an integer. And it returns it. You could put all this stuff into a, a function, but I, there's no reason to. So anyway, that's Rock, Paper, Scissors. Uh, programming Channel 613. Anthony Gaddis and Kip Irvine. Introduction to Visual Basic. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.